Hi, welcome to The Journey. I'm Michael, your host, and today we're talking about 4th of July. What can you do to set your dog up to win? What are the safety things that you need to know how to prepare your dog for the 4th of July? Well, wait a second. It's already the 4th of July. We hear fireworks already. Yes, there's tons and tons of fireworks going off here in Los Angeles. You know, we don't know if we're in a shooting range or a celebration. So be safe. Set your dog up to win. We're here today breaking it down with Dr. Kyle Burton with Healthy Positive Labs. Let's break it down. Uh, I am Dr. Kyle Burton, and uh, hi, Rob, and uh, I think somebody else just joined, Cassandra. Yeah. Welcome. Um, I am an acupuncturist and herbalist. Uh, I got my degree in about 2006. Uh, my master's, I went back to my doctorate shortly after that, and uh, created the pet line around 2016 because my dog was having, uh, my brother's dog was having really bad allergies, and nothing was working that the veterinarian was giving them. So having a lot of experience with uh, herbs and my human patients, I first made an herbal formula for my brother's dog. And within one dose, uh, the itching had decreased. And over a couple of weeks, the skin was less irritated and the fur began to grow back. And uh, he was really happy with the results. And then I had a bunch of other people, patients really started asking me questions about what, you know, what their dogs were doing and what they could do to help and, you know, wanting to stick to the natural route. So, uh, you know, started making formulas for arthritis because arthritis is a really big problem, especially with some older big dogs, too, um, can be really debilitating. And in fact, my brother uh, just started ordering the ouchie formula because his other dog is now starting to uh, experience arthritis. Uh, and then I had a, a one for calming uh, as well. So that was the first three formulas that we kind of started with. And then uh, we uh, kind of expanded from there. My partner is a veterinarian and he kind of guide me into some of the things that veterinarians don't really have on hand for natural remedies. Um, things like constipation, I guess, is a really difficult problem for them. They don't really have a good uh, medication or anything that can, can facilitate that. So uh, that's kind of where I stepped in and started developing up some of the other product lines as well. We've got one for urinary tract infections, with kidney stones, uh, we have an antifungal one. Uh, and that was kind of the birth of Healthy Pods. And so today uh, we're going to talk about uh, some natural things that you can do for your pet for the 4th of July. The noises are starting to get uh, really loud out there. People are starting to celebrate a little bit early. I think we've had a lot of uh, pent up emotions from last year. Um, and we're gonna go over the herbal formula, no more drama as well, because those are some uh, natural herbs in there that you can also use. And it does have, uh, one form has the CBD, which can, uh, really increase the efficacy of the calming. Uh, and then we have just the essentials line, which is just the Chinese herbs without the CBD. And Michael, those herbs work great on their own. So I uh, don't feel like you're, you're skimping out if you can't get the CBD version. Um, but the essentials plus line is for those who do want the extra benefit of the CBD. And Dr. Kyle, you'll be so excited to hear if you go to our website, we have the essential line now uploaded on our website and we have a special now for no more drama throughout the 4th of July season that you get 20% off. You don't have to put any codes in. If you just order any of the no more drama, you can actually just, it will save the 20% at checkout. So definitely be prepared for your dog. I do want to say um, we are definitely going to be diving into no more drama and everything that we have. And we do have it, like Dr. Kyle said, we have it with the CBD. And now we have the essential lines without the CBD. So that means everybody around the world can take advantage of our product now. And it was really from the birth of Clubhouse. I mean, we started without CBD years ago, and then when the CBD craze came along, everybody was like, oh, I want CBD, CBD. So we added that as an additive to our, our base product. And now that we've been on Clubhouse, we're starting to see people from around the world that wants us in their neighborhood. And because of the CBD, some of the laws and regulations per country were a little rough to get through and get into the countries. So we went back to our basic formula, which is called the essentials, and that does not have the CBD. So now we can ship it everywhere. So welcome to Healthy Paws Herbal Labs essential line, everybody. This is actually our first day that we've actually released it. So it's up on our site. Definitely take advantage of it. If your dog is having anxiety during this time, there are eight tips that I'm going to go over, eight steps of things that you can do to prepare your dog for uh, 4th of July. One of the things, Dr. Kyle, the biggest thing is when we're talking about, let's talk about no more drama. Let's break down no more drama right now. 
why does no more drama work so well? And I say that only because I know it works so well. I was just at somebody's house just recently that ordered no more drama. Her uh, dog just got out of surgery and he just could not sit still and she didn't know what to do. And so we, she went online, got no more drama. She was close enough. She wanted it quickly. We drove it over to her as a courtesy and we were there. And so I showed her how to use it. And we put him on a scale. We scaled him. We got his body weight. And from there, I looked at the instructions on the side of the box, pulled out the proper amount, gave it to him. And it was so beautiful to be there because like within 20 minutes, here's this little dog running around this apartment with a cone on, banging into everything. And in 20 minutes later, he's down on his bed, just relaxed, had like this little smile on his face. And his owners both look at me. They're like, oh, my God. He has not sat down for the last three days. This is amazing. And it was. And and that's just one of the powerful properties of our product. So talk to us about that, Dr. Kyle. Why does it work so well without it being a narcotic? Yeah. So the the herbal formula is based on a traditional formula that we've used for over a thousand years. And it has a very calming effect uh, on the nervous system. And some of the herbs are actually adaptogenic. So um, it can actually even work for like a depressive dog too. If you're if your pet suffering through grief, or you know you've lost another pet and they're having a hard time adjusting to it as well. So adaptogenics basically can uh, balance the nervous system, whether it's an excess or it's a deficiency, whether you're in that fight or flight mode or you're more in a depressive mode. Um, and seizures, uh, anxiety, you know, attention deficit, uh, obsessive compulsive behavior, even aggression. Uh, hyperexcitability, those are all elevated uh, nervous system responses. And so what it does, it kind of helps switch off that fight or flight mode and gets into that rest and digest mode, which is where we're nice and relaxed. Um, And it does work pretty quickly. Um, You know, if your pet has recently eaten, it might take a couple, uh, you know, minutes or, you know, another 10 or 15 minutes to to kick in. But generally within 20 minutes, you're going to start seeing some results. Um, And the good thing is, is it's not a pharmaceutical and that it doesn't, um, just have a brief effect. It does have some nourishing herbs in the formula as well. In Chinese medicine, we look at uh, anxiety. It can come from a deficiency or an excess. And so the formula is pretty well-rounded. So if your pet is in excess or it's in deficiency, um, it can help regulate it back to normal and bring it back into balance, um, which is what we want. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have any of that uh, motor skill loss like a pharmaceutical does. So I know veterinarians will often suggest, you know, to give your pet some Xanax. And Xanax does work, but if there is an emergency or, you know, like 4th of July, if something catches on fire uh, and they need to actually get up and run, it's going to be very difficult uh, and they're not going to be as alert. So the great thing about the herbs is that they don't drug your pet. And so that it does balance them and brings them back into balance. But if there's a really big incident, then they are still uh, alert enough to to get up and and move and run. Um, We definitely don't want people having to pick up, especially for larger dogs, and and having to carry them out um, if something were to happen. Um, And just, you know, for short car rides, too, if you are taking your pet to the vet um, and they get really nervous in the car or just the groomers, things like that, um, you can give it to them and they're not going to be drugged for eight hours. So uh, it is nice to have that natural alternative. You know, there are some instances where maybe a Xanax is okay, but uh, for the most part, you can pretty much get away with everything with just the herbs. Um, So, yeah, we'll go over some of the ingredients that we use. Uh, One of the first ones is valerian root. And I I wanted to start with that one because that's one of the most common herbs that people know about. Um, It's very calming. Uh, It's the same thing with the pets as it is with us. It it relaxes the nervous system, so it does help kind of trigger – fight or flight and and turn it off and go into that rest and digest. Um, It's good for sleep. A lot of us, you know, humans use it for sleep as well. So we included that. That was actually not one of the traditional herbs in the formula, but because it's so popular and it is so effective that we did include it in the formula as well. Um, One of the other ingredients is jujube seed. And this has a really calming effect on the nervous system. And not that your pet is drinking coffee, or at least hope not, but it does counter the effects of, of caffeine. So even with human patients who drink a lot of coffee to stay up, but then they have a hard time going back to bed at nighttime uh, because that caffeine is still in their system. It's a really good anecdote for that. Uh, just have like a little nighttime sleepy tea. And again, it doesn't drug them. It doesn't make them lose any kind of motor skills. They're still alert. They might get a little bit sleepy, but you can always, you know, 
snap your fingers and get their attention and they're, they'll be ready for their walk. They just might be a little bit more you know, calm and relaxed doing it. Um, and, you know, I've been using that formula for my dog, Ginger, because we haven't been to the dog park in a long time. And she's getting a little bit anxious around the dogs and the interactions again. So it just kind of helps put her at ease, too, and just helps them be less reactive. You know, when we're in that fight or flight mode or when your pet's in that fight or flight mode, um, every little thing can just kind of set them uh, off and, and some more anxiety. So it just kind of makes them a little more relaxed and chill and they're not going to be so uh, apt to respond to it. And that's what we're trying to do during the 4th of July. You know, all of these loud noises, the flashing lights. Um, we might have people over, which is often, you know, a trigger for our pets as well. If we're having a you know, celebration or a party or gathering. So any of those circumstances, it's, it's a good uh, op option to use. Uh, and again, you know, you, you see those results pretty quick and it's very dose dependent um, and that's going to depend on the weight of the animal. And so that's something that, you know, you want to know how much herb you can actually give to your pet. Um, and not that the herbs are going to harm them. It's just their digestion may not be able to tolerate it. So you might start to see some of the store or something like that. We're in the month of June. We haven't hit July yet. It's firework season. I live in LA. I hear fireworks every single night. My neighbor's dog, my poor neighbor's dog, I've given them the no more drama. They've used it. They love it. You know, I'll hear a big bang and uh, I count the seconds and then all of a sudden the dog starts going nuts in the yard and I feel so bad. For it. And I just want to give everybody just like t eight tips to keep your pet safe for 4th of July. And you guys can go there. You can share this with somebody that maybe has a dog that maybe you feel like can, you know, have these issues with their dogs just to give them some information so that they maybe help feel comfortable during this time. But the eight steps real quick is one, play it safe and be smart. You know, if it's a puppy that you got this last year, you may not even know that your dog is a fear, has a fear of loud noises or fireworks. So just be aware, get to know who your dog is. Be prepared. No matter what the case is, be prepared and get to know your dog and who they are today and then keep your dog inside the house unless you're going out to take him for potty you know or a walk on a leash make sure that your leash is really tight because if there isn't an alarm noise of firework that goes off near them and the leash is not tight there may be an opportunity that the dog could slip the leash and we don't want that because we don't want a lot of dogs running around and with that, always being a responsible pet parent, it's so important to make sure your dog's chip is up to date. If you have your dog chipped, make sure your chip is up to date, the address, your telephone number, your contact information. So many times we see people have their dogs chipped, they move and they forget to update it. So be sure that you update that chip because that's so important in case he gets lost or she gets lost during the fireworks. Number three, Inside the house, don't leave the windows or the doors open. Give, don't give your dog an opportunity to flee the situation. Having a back door open or a gate open or something like that, we want to keep our dogs safe. One of the things that we talk about a lot here on Clubhouse 2 is you can start working with your dog to desensitize them to fireworks. And it's a very slow process. We talk about it all the time. It's baby steps, baby steps. But find a station. You can. It's easy to do now with your computers. Find noises of fireworks. But just put them on a low, low, low volume and just play them not all day long, just for a short period of time. Have your dog around you. Let him listen to him. Let's see that he doesn't get triggered. If he doesn't get triggered and he seems okay, give him a treat. And then that way he knows that that's a good behavior of not getting excited. So that's a really good one that we talk about all the time. The next thing is put your dog in a crate if you're going to be going out for the day or at night going just to give him a place where they feel comfortable. Put his favorite toy in there for them as well. If your dog is not crate trained, then maybe find a room that's secure without a window that's open that they can escape from. Number five would be before you go out for your day, exercise your dog, get them exhausted, do some nose work with them, train them, do some work with them, but get them exercised because that always helps them calm down as well. The other one is there's a thing called thunder shirts. That's a really good thing for dogs, you know, especially if they're really smaller dogs and they get really nervous during these loud noises. There's items that you can get on Amazon and I'm sure you still can get one before the 4th of July. You could probably get one in a few days on Amazon. They're thunder shirts and they're just kind of like a comfortable blanket that they wear and they just kind of feel like they're being held. And it's another thing that you can do that feels safe for them. 
And then the last thing, like we t- I talked about before, if you don't have your dog microchip, make sure that you have your IDs on your dog just to be safe. So just our goal here for the 4th of July, and we see it all the time, especially in big cities like Los Angeles that I live in, where dogs get alarmed and they get nervous and then they get frightful and then they get reactive. And so our goal here is to really calm them down, take them for a walk be by their side, get to know them, just so that we are a community as one and we're helping each other. No more drama, Dr. Kyle. Let's talk about that. No more drama. Why is it so important that when people do do something like this, that they're not using something that has a drug in it? Well, for short time uh, relief, you know, you definitely don't want to use some of those drugs like Valium and Xanax. Uh, They're benzodiazepines and they have a very uh, relaxing effect on the nervous system, but they do affect the motor skills as well. And the good thing with the herbs, <clears throat> excuse me, is they also act on those, some of those same receptors, but they don't affect the motor skills. And so that's one of the benefits of doing the, the natural route is that you don't lose that motor skill because if there is an emergency, um, they're going to need to get up and, and move. So that's one of the, the best reasons uh, aside from just toxicity as well and dependency too um there's no dependencies with the herbs uh and they're very safe you're not going to see any problems with the liver the kidneys and it can be used long term for pets that have like ptsd where it's not just a circumstantial thing like the fourth of july or you know going to the vet or getting to the car Um, if they have ptsd you can continue to use the formula for them and usually in Chinese medicine, we look at things as deficient excess and there's a deficiency of blood and there's excess of heat. Um, you know, those are energetics that don't necessarily uh, cross over into Western terminology very well. And we don't have time to get into all the Chinese theory. But um, just looking at your, your dog, if they're too hot, right, like they just get a little more agitated. You can see they're kind of in distress. Uh, if your pet is naturally hot internally, then they might have more anxiety. Um, so there's some cooling herbs in there. There's some herbs that tonify the blood. Um, if we don't have enough blood, if we don't have enough uh, essence, then we can be uh, a little ungrounded. And I kind of use the analogy of when you're driving your car and the engine gets hot, and it's because you don't have enough oil. And so, yeah, there is heat, but it's coming from a lack of oil. And so the same thing happens with the nervous system, where you can have this excess reaction, but it's becoming from a deficiency. And so there are herbs, herbs in there that are tonifying herbs as well. And so we actually have ginseng in there, which most people think ginseng is, you know, uh, energy, but it's also a really strong anti-inflammatory and it does have a calming effect. You know, some of us are just anxiety ridden and we just need a little more energy. Maybe we didn't get enough sleep so we can might uh, relate that with our pet as well. Um, there are other herbs in there like longu and muli uh, and zenzu. Uh, which are calcium rich herbs. And Zinzu is actually the mother of pearls. So we have pearls in there. They're not, you know, the pearls that you're going to get at the, the diamond store. Um, they're not perfect pearls, but um, they are very calcium rich. And in Chinese medicine, they nourish the heart. You know, and it's funny that as humans, we like to wear pearls around our, our heart. Um, they have uh, infinity to have a calming effect, especially the heart. So, uh, and people, if you're, you're feeding your pet uh, and there's any kind of calcium deficiency problems, you can also just boil some of your eggs, uh, some of the shells, uh, to kill the bacteria. And then you can use a, a, a coffee grinder to grind them up into a fine powder. And you can add that into some of the pet meals that you might be doing for your pet, too. Um, if that is a, a problem, if you're not uh, supplementing with your, with your pet food. So when we're talking about all these drugs, are there any drugs? Let's say somebody, they know of our No More Drama. And they go online, they go to order it, but they're a little fearful that they may not get it in time. What if it's the last minute? What can someone do at the last minute? Let's say it's the 4th of July. The pet owner didn't even realize yet the school behind them or a park near them. They didn't think they were going to be doing fireworks because of the pandemic. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, it's filled with people. It's filled with vendors. It's filled with fireworks. And then everything's going on and they're like panicked. What can they do immediately? Can they go to the witch? store? Can they go to a health food store? Can they get something that can help the dog calm down without them having to do some sort of pharmaceutical volume or anything like that, like you talked about? Yeah, I would say Valium. Or, <laughs> Valium. That <laughs> helped, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Valium will definitely help, but that's not what we're looking for. 
Um, valerian root is is really effective. There's a lot of clinical research on the efficacy of it. Uh, you know, we use it as humans too. Uh, you just want to make sure the dosage uh, is the right dosage. So um, if your dog is, you know, 25 pounds or under, then you want to use about one to two grams. Um, and you can do that, every, you know, between four to five hours. You might notice that it kind of wears off, uh, especially if it's a long day. Um, if the pet is between 25 to 50 pounds, you're going to want to use between two to four grams per dosage. Um, and if your dog is 50 to 75 pounds, you're going to want to do about four to six grams. Uh, and at 75 to 100 pounds, it's, it's about six grams. And, you know, higher than that, you can about six to eight. Um, it is a single herb, so you want to go towards the lower end of the ranges that I'm giving and try it out. And if you don't notice there's an effect, then within an hour, you can give them more of it as well. So so that's a, a pretty easy way to do it. And there's a lot of calming formulas at, at uh, pet stores or not, you know, just your natural stores in general. Um, lemon balm is actually really good as well. Um, and then even just doing some of that calcium uh, stuff at home too, that might help. But uh, something that you can go get pretty quickly and pretty easily is the valerian root. I would I would start with that if you're in a if you're in a pinch. And so if they're getting this valerian root and they're going and they've got it, you said it's very strong. What would is there any like table that they can kind of go off of, like a measuring table or anything, like how much to give their dog, or how would you say that they approach that? I would say about every twenty five pounds, you can use a gram. And so if you go up to 50 pounds, then you can use two grams and, and so on and so forth. So that's, a, that's on the lower side. So if you don't notice any reaction within about 30 minutes to an hour, and it, depending if they've already eaten or not, then you can up the dosage too. One of my questions when the person's house that's near us, and I was really super surprised on how quick it worked. What does that, what, what properties are inside the herbs that it just, let's say 15, 20 minutes and we saw a difference in the dog. What makes it work so quickly? Um, there are some digestion uh, herbs in it as well. So ginseng, you know, we take it for energy, but it's actually a digestion tonic. Um, there's also some ginger in there, uh, which helps you digest as well. And there's a uh, dot, dot, what date, that they're dates. <laughs> Sorry, I get confused with the English and the, and the Chinese pinion sometimes, but uh, dates are in there as well, and those are really good for the digestion. So it's going to help us simulate that. And what you know, we're always cautious with herbs. If it's a new anything, you know, even changing your pet's diet, you have to do very slowly. So we always add a couple digestion herbs in there to to kind of help counter any possible side effects as far as the digestion goes. Let's go back to no more drama. There's how many herbs are inside of no more drama? Do you think there there are about 15 herbs, I believe. Okay. Right so around 15. That's what's so nice about our product is that you've taken the time and you've really measured out all the different types of herbs so that when on the body chart, depending on the weight of the dog, it works so nicely. If someone was to go on our site and just get the three milliliters for the syringe or travel size for no more drama, would that be helpful for 4th of July? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it just depends on the size of the of the pet as well. Um, if it's a real small animal, then you're going to probably get about three different um, doses in, in just that one. But if it's a larger animal, then you're 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 not going to get as much. Um, if you have a hundred pound dog, you know the suggested dosage is about three and a half mL to five mL, uh, and the traveler's one is only three. So you might want to just get two of those. Um, but if you're just using for a one time and, and that's it, then you can definitely be pretty safe, uh, as long as your, your pet is under hundred pounds. So then let me ask you this question, cause I'm sure this is going to be a question I'll be getting all the time and I'd love to hear it from the horse's mouth and the fact that, okay, so now we've just, and everybody that's in the room, I want to welcome you once again to fireworks. Oh no, my pet needs help. Holistic pet care 101. We're here with Dr. Kyle Burton. We're just kind of breaking down the safety tips and what you can do to set your pet up to win during this 4th of July. And we think it's going to be a very noisy 4th of July after last year. So be prepared. And that's what we're just trying to do is bring awareness and just find solutions for you so that you can be prepared to set your dog up to win when we're looking at because we just released like i said today we just released the essential line on our website that doesn't have the cbd um, and then we have the essential line plus that has the cbd 
when somebody's looking at it, is that does that make a difference on for for the Fourth of July, which one they select from, and if so, why? Depends on your pet. Um, if they are high strung, you might want to get the CBD version because you are getting the extra benefits of CBD. Um, our you know pets just like us, we have an endocannabinoid system. Um, and the CBD reacts on those receptors and has a very calming effect on the nervous system. So if your pet is very high strung, then you should probably go for the CBD. Um, if they're just a little anxious, then you can just do the herbal formulas. I mean, the herbal formula on its own, we use uh, for seizures. I mean, that's a very elevated nervous system response. And cannabis or CBD has been used for uh, seizures and children too. So you know, they both have that calming effect on the nervous system. It really just depends on, on how much calming you need to do. But either way, it's not going to be like taking a, a Xanax or a Valium. They're not going to have that drugged out um, reaction. Um, we have Cassandra up here. I want to say hello to Cassandra. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Do you have a question or something going on with your dog? Hi, thank you. Yes, my name's Cassandra. And um, we live in LA too, in LA too. And there's just been so, I feel like this year, more than last year, with so many fireworks lately, I guess. And my dog is in the picture. She's pretty small. She's like 10 pounds. And um, she's been getting a sick, so scared, so, so anxious, you know. I feel so bad for her. So I'm definitely going to check out the product. I I love the conversation so far. But I just, I had a quick question. I don't know if you already answered this. It's really small but um is it in like liquid form or powder or what like form is it because she is so picky so it's often really I have a hard time like trying to you know kind of trick um like sliding something in her food or something like that yeah that's a, a great question um it comes in a liquid form and we used to have it in a, a glass dropper and actually Michael made the a great suggestion and to turn it into a syringe so you just turn the bottle upside down. The syringe has the uh, dosage marks on it, and you just shake it, and you pull how much you need. And then if you can get to your pet behind their back real quick and sneak it, you can just squirt it in their mouth. Some pets don't mind the taste, and they actually kind of look forward to it as well. Um, there is something, you know, if you do continue to use any of their products and your pet starts to, you know, see that syringe and, you know, starts to run, uh, a good idea <laughs> is to get, like, some gravy or something that your pet really enjoys and use that sometimes as well. So they don't always associate that syringe uh, with the herbs. Uh, and that's one of the best ways that you can kind of um, desensitize the pet to the syringe. Okay, cool. That's way easier. I know um, she's like usually really fine on airplanes. We've flown to New York like several times, and um, she's usually totally fine. I don't ever have to give her any like anti-anxiety stuff. I had a little like chewy thing that I really wanted her to try and it, um, she just refused she was like you're not going to trick me so but I love that it's in the syringe it makes it super easy so thank you so much you're very welcome yeah you'll really enjoy it Cassandra it makes it really easy to use because you know dogs especially cats are really finicky and the smaller dogs are finicky as well so it's just something that you can give to her really quick and then she'll be like what and then and you can follow up maybe with a treat or something like that so she's like oh I get a treat every time I do this this is good so it's reinforcing that good behavior but you'll love it especially being here in LA I would definitely go for the one ounce for you because we are in LA and it's just crazy here already I'm just like you said it just seems like it's worse than last year and I think it's going to be even you know way worse than what we've ever experienced because everybody's just you know they've have all that pent-up energy oh yeah it's it's been crazy like every night I don't know if you're on the citizen or next door it's like gunshots but I'm like I don't know if it's gunshots or fireworks at this yeah. point but it's always so crazy now it is it's like seriously you hear a noise you don't know whether to duck or celebrate <laughs> Right. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to try the product that I'm super excited about. That. <clears throat> well, we're excited to have you as part of our family and you're going to love it. And it's such a great, you know, and that's what's so beautiful about this being in clubhouse. I've just, I've come to the realization people are just really wanting a change for their pets, you know, for their, just their life and how they treat their pets. And everybody is looking for that holistic side of, you know, organic materials or foods or whatever they can for their dogs and their cats. And so, you know, I'm so happy that we, I'm so proud of our company, Healthy Pause Herbal Labs, because what the response and we, 
the help that we give to so many dogs and just the change in their lives is just really beautiful. Dr. Kyle, so when we talk about no more drama, one of the things that I've learned from my trainers here in Clubhouse is sometimes they even like to use it with an anxious dog when they're working with them just to kind of help take off that edge. Do you see people using it for that, Dr. Kyle? Yeah, um, it, it does. And when you're trying to learn something, you don't want to be anxious. Um, it's they're, they're still alert, so it's not like they're going to have that drug out effect where they're not going to be able to focus or pay attention. So it does calm them. They can focus a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, I, I have had people say that they use that during training as well. With No More Drama, we did just release our essential line on our website, so you can take advantage of that too. I definitely say everybody, you know, jump on um, our website. We do have a special right now, 20% off of all our No More Drama products so that you can take advantage of that as well. Um, is there anything that I'm not talking about that I haven't talked about the drugs enough, uh, the herbs enough? What do you think, Dr. Kyle? Uh, you know, there's one thing that you've left out for one of the things that you can do natural to help your pet during anxiety, and that is belly rubs. Don't forget the belly rubs. The belly rubs. Of course, the belly rubs. Well, with the belly rubs comes so much more. Um, yeah, definitely. And that's kind of like that, you know, when I talked about those eight topics about keeping your pet safe, you know, even like those blankets that you can get, those jackets you can get, the belly rubs are just like those jackets pretty much. It's just like have your dog next to you, make sure they're calm, make sure they're relaxed, make sure they have enough water. They're not, you know, keep them in a quiet room, play some soft music on the television so that they get used to some noise going on inside the house instead of just listening for the noise outside. That's the magic of holistic remedies um, versus pharmaceuticals. There's always a need for pharmaceuticals. We're just expanding your possibility of being able to take care of your pet from home instead of having to run to the vet all the time. You can just, you know, have a shelf of our products on your in your in your bathroom for your dog in case they do get diarrhea boom you have it so it's always best to be prepared i'm talking about a lot about our products but i just really enjoy talking about our products and letting people know because if it's not for you it could be for somebody else so with me saying that dr kyle when would somebody not use our herbal formulas and when do you feel like it is necessary to see your vet in a situation uh that's a good question uh if people are you know, it's always nice to have a, a diagnosis of what's going on with your pet, uh, especially if it's a new symptom and you're not really sure what's going on. And I, I do believe that the herbs are a good way to start. Uh, and if you don't notice any changes or any results within a couple of days, um, then it's probably time to go to the vet because it could be something a little bit more serious. Um, if they're having diarrhea, you know, it could be something that they ate. Uh, it could be a little bacterial imbalance. Um, and the herbs are going to help with that. Um, but it could also be something more serious, too. So if you're not getting those results, and, and the diarrhea formula works amazingly well and very quickly. And that's actually one of the most requested um, questions on a lot of the uh, online veterinarian things is my pet has diarrhea. Well, what do I do? And they usually say chicken and rice. And it's a bland diet, and it's, it's easy to digest, so it can't take some of the, the load off the digestion and time let it heal on its own. Um, but the herbs have that antibacterial effect. Um, they've got herbs that help strengthen the digestion as well. So if you don't notice something uh, quickly, you know, within a couple of doses, then it's, you want to get it checked out because it could be something more serious as well. Um, you know, and with pain as well, uh, you know, arthritis is, is typically really slow. Um, you start to see that gradual onset of it and you can start doing that. But if all of a sudden, you know, your dog is limping, uh, then there might be something more serious that might have torn something. Um, and if it's not responding to the herbs, uh, then you might want to get it checked out too. So there, there are definitely uh, circumstances where you are going to need to go to the vet, get a proper diagnosis, and possibly even you know, a pharmaceutical uh, for those severe cases. So um, you know, that's what I tell my human patients. You know, we try the alternative first, and if it doesn't help, then we move on to something a little bit more, uh, more Western always you know if something 
majors happening with your dog, take them to the vet. We're not vets. We don't claim to be vets. And it's really important that you always keep your dog's health number one. And so, you know, just know that there are times where there's things that you could do at home and take care of your animal. But, you know, always know who your pet is. Know what's going on with your pet because that's really important because they will let you know that something's wrong if, you, if you're in connection with them. I think we've kind of like covered everything today. I just, you know, everybody, I just want you just to have a wonderful 4th of July. I want to thank everybody for joining us today with Dr. Kyle. Thank you, Dr. Kyle, for being here. I want to thank everybody for following me and being such a great family to hang out with all the time. Thank you very much for letting me host this room tonight. Wherever you are in the world, please protect your pets for 4th of July. If you don't remember those eight tips that I gave you, just go to our website. It's linked to my profile. You can look at it from our Instagram page. It has the eight tips on how to keep your pet safe for the 4th of July. I recommend just to have that. Just read through that because it just may give you something that you might not be doing. You're like, oh, I should add that to the list. Just once again, keep our pets safe. Keep yourself safe. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Dr. Kyle, for joining me today on this beautiful Tuesday here in California. I hope you're having a beautiful day where you are. And I will see you soon, Dr. Kyle. Thank you very much, Michael. Have a great 4th of July, and thank you for everyone uh, in the room, and have a happy 4th of July, and keep your pets safe. Thank you, everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm out. Have a beautiful day wherever you are in the world.